actually watching Rodney's episode of his dog custom competition. Y'all should check it out. But it's lame as hell to cry on the internet. Let me say that. I'm sorry. That's like the lamest shit ever. Okay. It's no secret your girl has had a little bit of an emotional morning. But moment of transparency. I'm obviously I I'm a dog collector. I mean, hello. And that's like my free time. You know, that's my free time. I go to Target three to four times a week. One, just to go, but to go see dolls, even if I'm not buying them. Like, this is, like, the one part of my life where I can get a little bit of joy out of. You know, not to sound materialistic or no shit like that, but, yeah. Now, this, another joy I have is, like, being a part of the kids in my life with my job and then the kids of my family close to me you know just watching them grow and being a part of that their memories and stuff but I'm trying to keep it you know here (laughs) and I'm 25 my biggest like demon right now is school and my biggest want that I feel is getting fucked over by this demon is having an established career and just being able to run the hell away (laughs) and have my own life like I don't have to depend on other anybody's resources or anything like that like I'm fully capable of just taking care of myself by myself you know right because there's a lot of people in my age group like 20s and stuff who are still in fact staying with their parents or if they live on their own they're sharing a place with somebody or trying to make ends meet by like working to death doing multiple jobs whatever you know and I know that there's some dog collectors out there who feel what I'm saying you know what I'm saying or or in this similar position and I you know, don't really know. Like, there are... I'm a, I'm an introvert. I'm a person who will choose to be alone in a room before I go and be in a room with other people to socialize, make friends, whatever. That's just how I am. I actually consider myself a bad friend because I am not the friend that will go out their way to meet up and go have a good time, X, Y, Z, all that stuff, talk consistently, text consistently. I know I'm a bad friend in that sense, like, and I'm not proud of it. I'm a great friend because I'm, I can be there for you and really there in the darkest times of your life. But like, when it comes to the follow-ups, like, let's meet for this or come to this or let's talk, you know, I'm not, I'm not that great of a friend in that sense. Same with me as a family member. Like, I just, you know... I just always am so ready to go back into my bubble. And you can't really do that as an adult at my age, especially. Like, life is very much there. Um, bills are very much there. Being able to take care of yourself is something you have to be able to do. And just these kind of thoughts race through my mind a lot, especially when I have a quiet morning like what I'm having right now. And yeah, y'all, just dolls have always been that consistent joy that I've had since um, I've gotten back into, you know, collecting and stuff. Sorry, y'all, this is chocolate one jacket. (laughs) But it's almost just... It sucks, you know, sometimes, like, wanting something just so simple as stability, working a job that's consistent, not stressful, you don't gotta worry about no weird hiccups, um, and just being able to take care of yourself, and have a place to sleep at, have a car to drive, no hiccups with that, 
you know, have all the bare essentials so that the times that you want to go enjoy yourself, you don't feel guilty or the times that you are tired. I feel guilty anytime I'm tired. I feel guilty as hell. This week, I've been very tired and I feel guilty because like, bitch, I don't really feel like I do nothing, do anything. And I mean... I'm an adult. Like, there are certain things I feel like in my maturity and as an adult, I should have down. I should have understood. I should have, I should know by now, basically, is what I'm saying, right? This being said, a personal thing for me is I know I need to be more disciplined in honesty with myself. I'm honest with myself, but being so honest and disciplined with myself and not being afraid to also communicate the things about myself I don't I'm not proud of or I have insecurities on and being able to kind of stand on that like with school this is a real example if I could just put school right now on a pause I would so I could focus on trying to get some type of stable career job just based off of my experience so far. And then I'll come back and revisit school. But I can't do that because one, I owe it to my mom to graduate. I've been in school for too goddamn long because of some life hiccups. Um, two. And that's it. Like, me getting a diploma, it means nothing to me. It just, it's those two things that are the reason why I'm trying to, like, okay, I gotta get a diploma from somewhere, somehow. But, yeah, and then, I've sacrificed a couple things in my real life. As far as accepting, not wanting to have a lifetime partner, and definitely not I've always wanted a family of my own like I think a lot of us do right but no I take bringing children into this world this crazy world we live in too seriously I take it so seriously that I don't want to start my own family because too much risks of like the the unknown I'm person that I'm a person that fears the unknown so if something couldn't be how I wanted it to be you know what I'm saying healthy happy We're going to go through those times, but, like, if it ends in, like, separation. Now, as I elaborate on, like, trying to, like, not selfishly bring in a child in this world, I also feel like when I'm at the point where I want to be in life, which is very simple, I feel like I'm going to want to enjoy that, if that makes sense, also, by myself, with no family. If I could have the luxury right now to just go get myself a nice little small house or a really nice little apartment and just be responsible for myself and nothing else I don't depend on anybody but myself and I'm comfortable you know it's not stressing me out I would take that right now I would take that over having a million dollars that's it that's the simple things that I want and I know it's like why are you sharing this well I like to when I go live on my doll account on the weekends that's not just a time for me to talk about dolls or even on my channel like I'm very okay with talking about other shit that we as dog collectors as adults or adolescents talk about other stuff that really be on our mind that actually makes us want to escape more into our collecting like on the daily you know what I mean but yeah y'all I just needed to get that off my chest because Sometimes you just need to do that. For anyone else that feels this way, like, I feel you. You're seen. You know what I'm saying? Um, Like, right after I am done talking and venting, I'm going to finish watching Rodney's video and possibly record some more dog content. Because that's just where I'm happiest at. You know, where I can escape at. Though life's problems are still there... And you can't ignore it. Running away from your problems. Just let y'all know, it doesn't work. Speaking from experience. You gotta address those things in the best way you can. Honesty is always the best policy. And just take things one day at a time. But, you know, if you feel like there's more that you could do for yourself or whatever. Or you need to establish boundaries, draw some lines in the sand. 
do it. Because at the end of the day, it's your life. You'll only get one. And by what the fuck is going on in the world right now, that shit could be gone. Not even tomorrow. That shit could be over with within, like, hours. Not to be so dark. And, you know, I'm just speaking very honestly. So, I hope that whoever needed this, I hope this helped. Or you could have just said it's just me venting on the internet. But it ain't even venting. It's just... I like to express these things because, like, yo, this is, like, some real-ass shit. Like, this ain't all about just doll collecting and I'm just staying home doing whatever I please. It is not like that. Not at all. I wish. (laughs) I wish, okay? But just literally, to anyone else who's feeling this way, I understand. This is a safe space. Um, Should I choose to post this, like, in a vlog or as its own video, whatever? Um, It's okay to not know what the fuck is going on, but, like have an idea of how to end up knowing what the hell is going on with your life what what you're doing your decisions be responsible making decisions you know take time to really think about stuff before jumping into it whatever take that walk take that breather you know go comb that doll's hair go change that doll's outfit if it means you can get at least two seconds of an escape from life's problems because ain't nobody trying to explode and uh you know unalive oneself if it got to that point or self-harm oneself because I just feel like we got to get more out of life than what we got going on right now for those who can relate or have something even worse going on you know there's clearly iPhone storage paying for that shit I'm finna cancel cause like what the hell but anyways like I even lost my damn point but oh yeah there's worse things going on in this world but because there are worse things if you compare your life to what the hell is going on that's worse there's gotta be something good we gotta get out of this like there's no way that life is just not supposed to make sense for all of us in our 20s like and none of us have shit to show for it and we feel stuck like there's gotta be more somewhere so yeah just know if you're feeling this way your cyber black sister dog collector sees you you're not alone okay it's tough out there in them streets y'all I'm tired of earth. I'm tired of America. Sometimes I'm tired of living. Not to say that I know, you know what I'm saying? Not no type stuff, but it's okay to be tired. I'm okay with not being positive all the goddamn time because sometimes it just be like that sometimes, right? But yeah, but anyways, just know uh, you're seen. If you're watching this, you can relate. You're seen. I understand. Where I understand you. And yeah. And let's just hope we can get through this.